Wishing you a happy new year. If only we had more positive news to praise about. But I will report on a major issue that should be grabbing headlines. We all know there's a war in Iraq, war in Afghanistan, threats of war and rumors of war. There's a continual threat of global warming and resulting instability of weather patterns. There are more and more earthquakes reported. There is, though, the assurance we have from the greatest reporter of all time, the Lord Jesus Christ. I quote him as reporting that, I will build my church, and the gates of hell will not prevail against it. Thank you, Jesus, for that confidence we can have, despite the following news. Added December 31st, 5.07 a.m., by Santosh Degal, Bos News Life Asia correspondent, Dubanezwar, India. Over 1,000 Christians, including priests, nuns, women, and children, have fled to the jungles of India's Orissa state, where deadly anti-Christian violence entered its seventh day, a church official told Bos News Life Sunday, December 30th. Hindu extremist attacks killed at least nine Christians this week and injured many more. The All India Christian Council, a major advocacy group, coalition of thousands of Indian denominations, organizations, and lay leaders said so far six dead bodies have been recovered, while about 400 Christian homes and 60 churches were torched by angry Hindu mobs. Young and healthy Christians have left the villages to flee for their lives. Children, women, old and sick who could not flee for their lives are in great danger, said Dale. Christians, he said, are starving for the last four days. The sick are suffering without medical attention. The violence began Monday, December 24th, when Hindu mobs interrupted Christmas celebrations and vandalized Christmas decorations in several areas of Kandamal district. The violence soon spread with reports of nine deaths and hundreds injured. Local Hindus claim the violence began after Christians attacked a Hindu leader. Christians say the attacks, the latest in several bouts of religious violence that have plagued the state over the past few years, were sparked by church plans for a performance to celebrate Christmas. Orissa has a history of religious tension. In one of the most publicized cases, in 1999, right-wing Hindu activists burned alive Australian Protestant missionary Graham Stewart Staines and his two minor sons in their car in Orissa following a Bible study class. The killing of a Catholic priest, Father Arul Das of Balascor Diocese, occurred the same year by the same Hindu activists. There have been hundreds of attacks against Christians across India in the last two years alone, according to human rights watchers, who fear an increase in anti-Christian violence. Christians comprise less than 3% of the country's mainly Hindu population of 1.1 billion people. We will be staying with Boss News Life for continuous coverage on the crisis in Orissa. Let's spend some time at the beginning of this year praying. Father God, we cry out to you, Lord. Father, we cry out for you to set your angels about your people in India, in Orissa State. Father, we ask you to perform miracles signs, wonders, visions, dreams, acts of Holy Spirit that confirm our dear brothers and sisters in their faith and at the same time that these acts of Holy Spirit and dreams and visions we pray for 1.1 billion of them in the Hindu people of India leading them to faith in the true Lord Jesus Christ. And we pray again, Father, for 1.5 billion 
signs and wonders, dreams and visions, and acts of the Holy Spirit in the 1.5 billion Muslim peoples of this world. Father, we commit this year into your hands and we commit ourselves to praying, seeking your face daily, turning from our wicked ways and trusting you to hear from heaven, answer our prayers, and heal our lands. Thank you, Father. We come in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Thank you for joining me in prayer at RadiantChristian.com for News Bites with a Difference. God bless you. We produce New Bites daily, Monday through Friday every week. To review the month's prayer moments, go to GodTube.com and in Users, search for News Bite, or YouTube.com and in Channels, search for News Bite. We'll see you again tomorrow, next year, in Cyberspace.